What's going on, Pokemans friends? It's indeed me, Tyler, coach of the Nevada Lycan Packs. We are about to face Coach Barry of the Baton Rouge Blazikins. I've been saying that wrong the entire season. I apologize for that, Barry. But I'm expecting a good, fun match. Uh, we'll get connected here in a second. He does have a rain team. And uh, I should have took advantage of this with Blastoise, but we're not bringing him. And uh, I, I just really wanted to use Buffalon. I drafted him. I like him. I want to use him. So let's get connected here with uh, Coach Barry. I will see y'all there. All right, guys, we're selecting our team right now. There is our beautiful team right there. The Miltank, the Buffalant, the Tapu Koko. Uh, let me just make sure they're right real quick with the uh, Choice Scarf, Tapu Koko. And, uh, yeah, Choice Scarf, uh, Salt Vest, Salt Vest, Leftovers, Leftovers, Choice Band. All right, <clears throat> so let's get ready to get destroyed by this rain team. All right, selecting our team right here. Uh, let me just open my notes. Let the battle begin. Now, I got to take notes because I do have to put all this stuff in the MVP board. So if you see me looking at my phone, that is it. Okay, he does bring the Gigalith. Okay, so Hydreigon came too. And Thunders. Okay, this is scary. <laughs> so, no Tessarina. No Vicavolt. Okay, I really thought Vicavolt really gave some trouble to my team. So, he's already locked it in. Uh, He's been leading a lot with Gigalith. Get his Stealth Frogs up. Of course, we have no Rapid Spinner. So, uh, he'll get Stealth Frogs up, which could be bad. But, I'm just going to stick with my lead being Miltank. I think it's real fun to use mill tank and I'm glad I brought it so it's fully defensive should be able to take any hit from Gigalith and we'll be able to talk it we might trade rocks very first turn so let's see what he leads with here well after uh, showing okay you're challenged by rain aka coach Barry okay there goes our sweet big mama mill tank Okay, he does lead Gigalith. Alright, so this is a scenario I wanted as a lead. We cannot stop him from... I guess... Yeah, we can't stop him from doing Stealth Rocks, but we can get our own rocks up here and poison whatever comes in. If he wants to poison me, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna get Stealth Rocks here. And he goes for his Stealth Rocks as well. A pretty intense first turn, not gonna lie. We do get damaged by Sandstorm, but we have leftovers. Alright, so we're gonna Toxic this thing. If Gengar comes in, which I don't see why it would. Uh, good on him. All right. Oh, he avoided it. We, bo <laughs> we both avoided it. <clears throat> pretty intense second turn. Alright, so now he knows our game plan. Does he bring Gengar in here? I don't think he will. I think he wants a Toxic uh, Miltank. We're just going for Toxic again. But we do have Hillbell. We do not miss the second Toxic. Please do not miss his Toxic. Because that would be unfortunate for him. <clears throat> okay, he does go straight for a Toxic. Uh, does Gigalith stay in? Uh, we'll see. We'll Toxic again because we really lose nothing because I can just heal Bill. The poison damage off. <clears throat> Pretty intense third time. Ten, third turn. Pretty intense third turn there. Uh, we're just going to Toxic again because we have healing. We have the heal Bell. And... We can wall this Gigalith out if it just wants to slowly take toxic damage. But it looks like he's switching out, so we might get the toxic to something else if we don't miss again. Woo! 
uh, fresh off of work a couple hours ago. Okay, he does, he does switch out. <clears throat> Hydreigon, so we're going to poison Hydreigon. Now, does Hydreigon have Focus Blast? Okay, take Stealth Rocks. We get the Toxic here. Alright, that's two Toxics. So, what is probably my best switch in is going to maybe be Tangrowth here. Uh, if he goes for Dark Pulse, that's good on him because he has a chance to flinch me. So, that might just be his play right off the bat, Dark Pulse. Try to get that flinch. And I think we need to keep Milk Tank as healthy as possible. So we'll get Scizor in here. What can he do? He probably has fire. He probably has flamethrower on there. So it's probably... Ugh. Why did he have to come? We'll go ahead and get Thomas in. Because Thomas can take a hit. Shout out to Coach TJ of the Delaware Delabirds. But here comes our Tangrove Thomas. <clears throat> so he probably just goes for Dark Pulse. Or Dragon Pulse. Okay. Oh, that did quite a bit of damage. That did a real good bit of damage. So he goes for the fire move here now, probably. And we can't stay in against that. Um, I need to keep Tangrowth alive. Hoog is expendable. I'm already choosing who I can waste this guy. I did not expect that much damage, but I probably should have been paying attention if that was Life Orb. Or if it's choice specs. Let's bring Tapu Coco in case it's choice specs. Because that was a lot of damage with the assault vest. Because he might just be choice specs here. Uh, if he, he probably goes straight for the Dragon Pulse because it did. It was a two hit KO, so he might just go for Dragon Pulse here. Okay. So we get a free switch in. He's going to take more toxic damage. He will switch out. I just, I'm pretty sure unless he's choice scarf, but why would he go for uh, another dragon pulse? <clears throat> so who do you bring in? I don't think you're ready to bring in. Oh, uh, you probably bring in Thunderous. We'll go ahead and U-turn. Yeah, we'll go ahead and U-turn here. And get, he does withdraw. When Gigalith comes out, <clears throat> and that's when we bring in Miltank and we heal Bill. And that Sandstorm comes back. But I can't miss a heal Bill. So, forget your thing, Sandstorm. Please ignore that I said that. That was, uh, yeah. Alright, we bring Miltank. Miltank walls out Gigalith every time. That is the reason I brought Miltank. Alright, we're going to take Sandstorm damage, Stones damage, and Poison damage. But we're going to Heal Bell here. He can't do much damage unless he gets a crit. Unless the Calx lied to me. Which I'm trying not to use Calx this, this uh, match. I need to get a free switch into our uh, Buffalant. Because I just want to hit something hard with it. We'll go ahead and Hillbell here. <clears throat> Does he go for the Stone Edge? I'm surprised he didn't switch out. I'm wondering because he goes for the Stone Edge. Let's see how much this does. A healthy chunk. But we're cured of our poisoning. He probably goes for Toxic again. And we can Milk Drink up, get our life up. He's going to keep slowly taking poison damage. So we'll go ahead and heal bell, or not heal bell, milk drink here. He's going to find out that Gigalith gets walled out by this milk tank every time. So I don't know if we can switch in again like we did. Okay, he goes for Earthquake. It's not going to do as much damage as Stone Edge, of course. So yeah, we just wall this thing out and get a... Uh, Actually, if he switches out, because he know he knows he's not going to kill me, and he's going to take more and more toxic damage. So you might go into Hydreigon right here. I th 
I think I just... I think I need to make the play in the Tapu Koko here. I don't, I don't know. It's too risky. I'm just going to go for the milk drink. Okay, thank God I did not switch out. Alright, so we're going to keep walling this thing out. Hopefully, toxic damage takes him not this turn, but the next. He might keep it around and switch out this time. Surprised he didn't go for another toxic. Alright, he does dive in the next turn. So, do you switch out Gigalith to keep him the sack off later? Because you're not going to kill Mil you're not going to KO Miltank. If you bring anything, it's going to be Hydreigon. I think getting Miltank back to full might be a smart plan here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and milk drink. Keep us at full life. Okay, he did keep Geekle in. We made the right play. <clears throat> it's very good to see he hasn't missed any uh, stone edges, though. Okay, we eat that up. Sandstorm's gone. Milk tank gets a KO. Too toxic, of course. But now he gets a free switch in. But what does he bring in? Is it just a uh, Hydreigon? If it's Hydreigon, I can milk drink. If we can take one hit, being Dragon Pulse, because we're not very we're not special defensive at all. Like four Eevees. Does he try to set up rain? Okay, he goes for Gengar. So you have the Focus Blast, don't you? I think mm, if you go for Focus Blast, yeah, you have to have Focus Blast. I might just have to let Miltank go down here. Because Miltank did his job. So, to wall out, but do I need to keep it? to hopefully survive Swampert. I think I think it milk drink or I think milk tank did its job. I'm just gonna go for the milk drink here. Oh he just goes for sludge bomb. Okay. Okay. And that I that's probably choice of X damage. Or I could be completely wrong in its life orb. That makes more sense. Alright, so I can let him I can switch in Sizzle here. Because we do not survive another one. But I gotta make sure that he goes for the sludge. I gotta be sure he goes for Sludge Bomb. I'm gonna switch in Sizzle. We need to take some risk to get some momentum in this battle. Alright, so do you go for another Sludge Bomb? energy ball okay that's that's beautiful right there okay now I don't think you stay in you probably bring in hydragon so we're gonna sub up here yeah we're gonna substitute okay it just goes for the shadow ball I don't think this could kill now the problem is getting sub all right we're good we're four HP we in there <clears throat> all right now we go for a swords dance and we should be able to KO this thing to uh, with bullet punch after a swords dance okay he's just going for the shadow ball thing I'm just glad I put special defense kept kept scissor with special defense all right, we get the swords dance That's here. We're plus two. And now we just bullet punch. He did not bring Weavile. So we will 
Scizor is going to do a lot here, hopefully. We got Bullet Punch here. <clears throat> Scizor should pick up the kill. Alright, Scizor takes out Gengar, and that's one of the biggest threats gone right there. Scizor KOs Gengar, and we're getting pretty healthy here. Alright, here comes Politoed. Do we outspeed a Politoed? We're no speed invested, so if he's he probably outspeeds at full speed. Or full EVs on speed. Let's see, Politoed is But he got that rain up is what I'm scared of now. Uh, Scizor. Okay, so he does outspeed. We could either save Scizor for the bullet punch. But what do we switch into a uh, Scald in the rain? That's not a good uh, matchup. Probably, if anybody, our Tangrowth. But that's still going to do a good chunk. I might have to let Sizzler go down. No, I need to keep that bullet punch. I need the, I need that priority move. So we're going to get Sizzler out of there. He, should, he will be able to survive still for us. We'll get Thomas in there. Keep him from switching in. Uh, what's his name? Uh... He does get the burn, which is unfortunate, but he won't switch in Swampert, I don't think. Because we can just Giga Drain this HP monster Politoed here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, he withdraws. There's no way he brings in Swampert. Thunderous, okay. So. We'll get some life out of this. Wondering what your moveset is. This might be your time to set up. For nasty blot which we have a plan for that which is Dawn fan as unfortunate as it is so we can go for the knockoff here or because if he goes for nasty plot what would he go for nasty plot yeah I need to keep Tangrowth we'll switch in cave art here Thomas, get out of there. We need to keep you for Swampert. I need to really be careful how I use Tangrowth. So what does he go for? Hidden power? Hidden power what? Is it ice? That was good. That was real good. Alright, so... I don't think we can survive too. 197 to 95. That did about 100 then. Yeah. I don't think we'll survive another one. But we can Ice Shard here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to Ice Shard here because I don't think we'll survive another one unless, he gets, unless that was the highest roll. So I think it's safer to Ice Shard. Yeah, it's probably safer to Ice Shard. If he doesn't kill us, we can get two Ice Shards here and then finish him off with the, or get, finish him off with the second one. Unless he has the berry and we're screwed. Alright, he goes for another hidden power. Does it kill us? Oh, we survive on one. Way to hang in there, Cave Art. <clears throat> so we're going to go for another Ice Shard here. He's going to probably switch out because he knows I can't switch back in. I should have really thought about that move before I picked it. Knowing that this is really my best answer. Okay, he stayed in. If we, get, if we can take out this Thunderous... Oh, we did take it out! That's what I'm talking about! Uh, I'll be right back, folks. Sorry about that, folks. He, I had someone at the door. <laughs> and 
embarrassing. So we got 80 seconds, he brings in Hydreigon. Oh, we can just Ice Shard here. That was a weird pick. But I'll take it. We're gonna Ice Shard here. Get what little damage we can get. And it's barely out of it, but Miltank will be able to pick up the Toxic Kill. So... Dawn fan KOs. <laughs> Alright, so he does die to poison. So Miltank, that toxic on Miltank was just wonderful. Now he's gonna bring in. He's gonna bring it in. So let's try bringing in Thomas. Because he's gonna bring in Swampert. Okay, he brings in Polito, so we can steal life off of this, and he doesn't have Thunderous anymore. To block it. So Chaos Thunderous. And then Mill Tank Chaos. Oh, we're gonna go straight for the Giga Drain. Because if he switches out, it's gonna be in the Gengar, probably. So we can actually knock off here. Uh, he might have Ice Beam. I need to go for the Giga Drain. Okay, he does have the Ice Beam. See how much this does to us? Good chunk, but he is super full of health, this Politoed, so we should get a good fit back. Yeah, that's a good chunk. Of course, we get hurt by Burn. And now I can either... Yeah, we're going to switch out into Miltank, who has Thick Fat. And we're going to get that nasty burn. <clears throat> we have Thick Fat, so I'm going to take advantage of this to get rid of the burn on uh, Thomas, our Tangrowth here. Okay, this with the Ice Beam. Should, shouldn't do much to us, but yeah. And now he's going to go for the Scald. So I could either milk drink, but his rain is gone, so we can milk drink and save milk tank. Yeah, we'll go ahead and milk drink. Politoed shouldn't outspeed this. I need to just go for the hill bell. Because if he doesn't stay in, I lose my opportunity. No, we're playing risky. Let's go for the milk drink. Okay, he stays in. See how much Scald does to us? Oh, he goes for Rain Dance. Okay, so he had a second. He had a backup to get that Rain back up. So do you let just let Politoed go down here, or do you just switch in Swampert now? Because I could Toxic Swampert. Uh, we'll go ahead and Hill Bill. I I just need to get that burn. Okay, he does just withdraw. Now, in the rain, waterfall, 100% going to kill Miltank. So we'll find out if I made a horrible play here. But he should he he can't kill Buffalant. So we're just gonna go for Toxic. <clears throat> Okay, here comes Swampert. Let's go, let's see this monster. Let me get my notes out to say Swampert swept my team. Okay, he goes for Earthquake. Instead of Waterfall. It's interesting to me. So we do get a poison, at least, so that we can wear it down. And I am, I need to get, uh, I need to get Tangrowth in for free. I know he has the Ice Punch, but we're almost fully defensive to survive that. So we're going to go just for the Milk Drink. Oh, he goes for Ice Punch. So, so yeah, that's why I wanted to let Milk Tank. So Milk Tank, <laughs> he was just, he was just killing the battlefield out here. But I can't switch in Tangrowth here. I know he's expecting it. 
so I can't do that. So I need to let Miltank go down for free, get Thomas in, and be able to take one Ice Punch. So we're just going to go for another Milk Drink and let him slowly whittle down the Toxic. Okay, he goes for the Waterfall. Hopefully no flinch. Okay, we get the Milk Drink. Let's go, Miltank! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so this is the cash cow right here. Swampert is just going to take more and more damage. He might switch out here. Knowing that he's not doing a lot. Physical. So we'll go for a Toxic. It might be a big mistake. Okay, kick it. Kick it impact. That's a little scary. But that might be the opening we were waiting for. Uh, we'll just go for Toxic again. Because he's going to start dying. I'm going to actually go for Milk Drink. Maybe Miltank can take it all here. Come on, Miltank. Clean this up. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Critical hit. So, Miltank's going to probably take out Swampert this turn. Maybe? We're back at full. I don't know if Polyto can take us out. Oh, Swampert's going to barely hang on here. Uh, we'll go ahead and Milk Drink again. Unless he's he can't come back on Still Frogs. Are we going to win with Milk Tank here? Alright, we just Milk Drink back up. Now, I don't want to do this to Barry. I kind of, I want to use Buffalon. We're switching in Buffalon after this. <clears throat> so down goes Swampert. Um, Mill Tank KOs Mega Swampert. Okay, so that was an interesting. I'm so happy I brought Mill Tank. Now, I'm going to try to get in Buffalon here. This might be my demise, but I want to use Buffalon. I really do. Hopefully, he doesn't burn with the Scald, but a little bit. Okay, that's no problem. He's literally almost down. Okay, he does go for Scald. How much does this do in the rain? Pretty good bit. So, we're going for Head Charge. So, I want to use it. He outspeeds. Do we survive? Yes. Okay. But we're going for the head charge. Woo! Sorry, folks. I just really wanted to use that. I really wanted to use Buffalo. Well, that is going to be a win for the Nevada Lycan Packs against Coach Barry of the B B Baton... Baton... Rose Blazikins. I'm so sorry, Barry, that I can't say that right. I'm so sorry, Miltank kind of walled out everything. But <clears throat> that was a surprising match. Like, after I got rid of Thunderous and Hydreigon, Miltank just walled everything out, basically. But I gotta say, that was a, a good match. There was a couple things, like Hydreigon coming in against uh Don fan after I used Ice Shard. But uh it's still probably his better option would have been Politoed to take out Don fan the last bit. But he did what he he did what he did and I think Barry did well. Uh er, did good, sorry. But we are now uh is this week nine, yes. We are now eight and one. Would have been nine, but Garza had to ruin that. But we're now 8-1. and one. But good job, Barry. Thanks for a good match. Uh, we will. I will see y'all next time. I am Tyler, coach of the Nevada Lycan Packs. Hope y'all enjoyed the uh, video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, enjoy all your likes and all the subscribes. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.